Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormi and today we are playing some Starters Order 6 and uh, we are doing okay. We've got some lovely little races piled up. Uh, I couldn't find anything for sweet treats which is a shame but um, all together putting together you know a nice career sweet treats and getting back to winning ways in grade one so you know hopefully in the next video we'll be able to find something for our sweet treats but we do have everybody else over 20 days booked in a race apart from on the side who as a two-year-old is going to struggle to find one mile two races which is pretty much where that stamina bar is so yes um that's going to be tricky that is going to be tricky but i love this horse huge potential great constitution you can see great confidence as well a good cruising burst 30 percent the two-year-old is pretty you know pretty nice you got a big extra speed bar enthusiasm is quite high finish application consistency the surface adaptability we all we really need to do with this horse is make sure we're at the right distance that's all the juvenile constitution doesn't matter too much because we will struggle to find races anyway um, battling quality is low okay that's something that hopefully we can find in the breeding barn and just breed into this line but retriever was a fantastic horse 20 group one wins um, even though I didn't race him that much and he came to us late um, he is pretty much the best sire we've got so that was a, a very nice sort of pickup through the auctions in, an, in another save and this could be the start of a lineage where we could do something also you see jumping speed potential is phenomenal so bringing him into a jumping game or bringing this line into a jumping game might also work if i could get laid back and i could get breeding qualities i'd be very very happy so he can't race right now and maybe not for the rest of the year maybe just one or two at the end of the season maybe but i'm very happy with that horse so we're gonna start in a few days time with the united nations for peach pipe you can see that's a grade one and it's a pretty good feel let me go to the declaration screen and see what we've got so yeah peach pipe here you can see low weight it's going to be competitive there are some good horses in that race that we are up against but uh grade one race there so peach pipe trying to increase her stock a little bit then it's wild retriever whoops her wild retriever is in the belmont invitational now i think that we've got a great shot at that there are a couple of group one winners but this is a chance to get wild retriever that group one so we will see how he comes up in that one rushing wins then nice little grade three to try and uh, get her on the stage as it were and yeah pretty much a very winnable race there to pick up her first graded win so we'll see if that comes off for us then up to a mile dangerous minds and we're going to try and get him his first grade three win and uh, not an ultra competitive field again so that could be you know quite a nice way of just picking up that um that graded race belladonna unbeaten over three races already has two grade three races and uh, we're a big fan of this laid back not so much potential but she's got some other good bars in there and um yeah again it's another one of retrievers sort of uh stock so that kind of shows what a good sire retriever will be and has been for us um, but yeah, I think that's another winnable race. A little bit overweight there because we have a grade three win already. But this could be the third grade three for Belladonna. And I think that could be quite a nice sort of uh, race to run in. Secret of Mine will be up in the Samford grade three. Again, back down to six furlongs. Secret of Mine with a great little record. Again, a little bit overweight for some of them. But um, yeah. 
when we look at this horse not as good in some places but still pretty good and you know not too bad a little bit of distance adaptability as well this is hidden recipes uh, line so that's quite a, a fun thing as well we've got two good sires in the breeding barn and in the transfer list at least two probably five or six that could really produce top end colts and fillies so I'm excited to see where this one goes, see if we can get a second grade 3 onto Secret of Mine. And then Blissful Retriever is up in a grade 2. So trying to get a grade 2 now on those uh, that 2 year old. And Blissful Retriever is the choice. Because great confidence, good extra speed, great cruising burst. The potential's high, full finishing bar. I like this horse and I want to really try this out. And again, this Retriever's sort of uh, line coming to the fore. So we'll see how that one works out. But um, low weight, not the highest rated, but not far off. Best form horse, won all three of her races. So I'm going to enjoy seeing how these races turn out. So on to the first one then. And that is Peach Pipe. So we're heading to Monmouth Park for the United Nations. Nearly skipped the day. Do not do that. So let's see where this race is. And there we go. Peach Pipe. So this is the United Nations Grade 1, 1 mile 3 for 3 year olds. We're not favourite, which is disappointing, but slightly understandable you know there are horses in this race that are higher rating than us dead or alive not a bad record there uh, seven is lucky not so great but they are the favorite for some reason so okay interesting very interesting so it will be between dead or alive seven is lucky and ourselves here I think they will be the top three. It depends what order they come out in. So we're looking for the orange with the three bra uh, black triangles on or diamonds on it. Um, and seven is lucky. We do not know. So it's this white with a red cap. It's one of these white with the red caps. Good start by Peach Pipe though. Early out into the lead. And then we see Daenerys come into second place there seven is lucky on the outside is now going to take over that position then it's back to john paul two cobalt blue and dead are alive with brave buyers at the rear of the field at this time nine furlongs left to run as we come on here now onto the straight and the horses are going to just settle into their positions for the bulk of this race before making a move towards the end peach pipe leading this race not content to sit at the back of the field or to run just behind the leaders wants to take this from start to finish the best start leading the way by a length or so and you can see brave buyers cobalt blue denarius just overtaking uh dead or alive there on the inside john paul two a little distance back in third trying to make up some ground now on seven is lucky and peach pipe Lost a little bit of that lead, but we're coming now down the back stretch with five furlongs left to go. We're going to start seeing some of these horses making a couple of moves. You can see now, dead or alive, going way out to the outside. There's Cobalt Blue as well. They're starting to get into position for a push up the field. Three and a half furlongs, and here come those two in particular. Seven is lucky, and John Paul too, going to make their moves very soon as well. From the back, Brave Buyers looks like they might want to challenge here as we come around this turn. John Paul II up into second place. Let's now focus on the leaders. Two furlongs left. Peach Pipe still in the lead. John Paul II trying to make some distance up. Does Peach Pipe have a final kick for the line? Here comes Seven is Lucky. Here comes Dead or, Al Dead or Alive. Daenerys is there as well. John Paul 2 fades. Daenerys gets caught up behind. And it looks like Dead or Alive is going to come through here at the line to take first. Second one goes seven is lucky. Brave Buyers might have taken third. Indeed, they did by a short head. And Peach Pipe 
could not lead the entire race. So a very, very unfortunate kind of a setup there. Yeah, I think maybe... I thought the bar was full enough from mile three. But um, maybe it's mile two that we should run as. If that was a mile two, I think we would have done very, very well. But didn't quite expect to win that. That was more about us trying to find the distance and uh, check that out. Because sometimes that stamina bar is a little hit or miss. It gives you a good idea, but you still need to try and sort of... Yeah, you, you need to kind of test the waters, different races, different kind of conditions and lengths, and you will get there in the end. So now I'm confident on a mile two for Peach Pipe. Let's have a look at the auctions and absolutely nothing of note. So, World Retriever up then in race two of the video. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting big things. I really am expecting big things and I'm not sure whether I'm right to, but I've always liked this coat. As soon as I saw you know, for the first time, I've always liked Wild Retriever. And he's got two wins and a fifth, and then two wins and a fourth, and I, I'm i not too sure here. I'm not too sure. But we're going to try a mile two again. He seems to like that distance, so I'm, uh, I'm hopeful that we got the distance right. He is favourite. He is highest rated. And... There is a great one winner in here, Quest Star that isn't heavily favoured, not a great record this season. Honolulu Storm and Full Foot have also got grade two wins, but not great records. In fact, yeah, I can't see anything here that would really worry me. So Tips does say Full Foot and us. And yeah, let's uh let's see what happens then. I don't really want to keep an eye on any of the horses because I think that we should win and we are fully capable of that with the best horse in this field in my opinion so no point looking at any more silks world retriever with a decent start quest star on the outside with a good start and honolulu storm no charging to the front hurley's way and yes he's a pistol just there as well as hurley's way gets you know into second place quest star back down into fourth now jockey holding him up a bit and wild retriever will be there just behind now, trying to come up alongside a little. Daynag Royale and Fulford are at the rear of the field. Fulford on the inside. Seven and a half furlongs left to go. So we know World Retriever likes to run late. Honolulu Storm and Hurley's way out in the front. A little bit back to Yes, he's a pistol. And then a decent gap to Quest Star and Wild Retriever with Fulford and Daynag Royal still behind. Six furlongs. Let's see what we can do then, because there is a good burst of, pe you know, burst of speed normally with Wild Retriever round the last turn and on that straight. So we see though Quest Star now coming up from fourth. Looking to challenge here for third, but yes, he's a pistol comes out as well. Getting up in position, way out on the outside, is World Retriever. Full foot and Dana Royale just behind. Honolulu Storm now going to get challenged by Hurley's Way, perhaps, as we break off this turn. World Retriever not quite in good position yet, I wouldn't say. Two and a half furlongs. This is going to be a great run from Wild Retriever if he is to win. We're down now to the two furlong marker as we come onto the straight. It looks like Wild Retriever is going to kick in here and go for gold. He's up now into fourth, into third, challenging, yes, he's a pistol for second. It looks like Full Foot is coming through here as well, but may have left it too late. Honolulu Storm is going to get overtaken on the line there by Wild Retriever who gets his head across and full for there picking up third. So a little as expected there, World Retriever leaving it quite late, but having the speed 
to take the race. So I'm uh, I'm quite pleased for that. Beginning to tire a little towards the finish. So maybe a mile one then. I'm pretty sure he likes a mile two, but maybe a mile one would be slightly better. Which makes sense because he jumped from a mile up to a mile two. So a mile two and mile one, that could be pretty decent distance for him. Perhaps he's on breeding. I thought he might be a little bit more. But, uh, okay, World well Retriever, good little win there. So that's one grade one, two grade twos, and a grade three, which is fantastic. Absolutely happy with that performance. We're really coming into good form with some of these horses now. And then Rushing Winds up next. So let's go and see this race. Again, I've booked these horses in races I think they can win. The only one I didn't was the first. And I was expecting top three, so to get fourth isn't too bad. Uh, now, this one, though, you know, this should be a big win because I don't think there's anything in this field of the same class, anywhere near the same class. So it's just a standard grade three over six furlongs. Decent start for a few horses there. And you see Herr Mozart on the inside. Rushing winds up towards the front now. We'll take the lead probably here. Mystic Palace Soy, tro uh, Topper Shopper, Rudy Queen, and Clara Rose, who probably got the best start now, is just in the rear in front of Jackie's Opera. Mystic will lead out this race then. Just under four furlongs. And it looks like Rushing Winds is going to come through here take over the lead as we go into this bend on the inside her Mozart on the outside looks like Topper Shopper may be ready to make a move here Mystic not willing to give this up just yet is probably going to try and fight but we're expecting a big kick on now from two furlongs in as we get onto this home straight round the turn rushing winds should live up to her name and just absolutely storm in to the finish and you can see the rest of the field being left behind, nice and easy, rushing wins with a big, big, big win here. And there we go. Nice and easy, what we wanted, another grade three on our horses. So rushing wins, so first grade three, she becomes a graded horse, and um, yeah, I'm... I'm excited to see what these two-year-olds do in their three-year-old season because this is one of the best crop of falls that i've had in any save we're really starting to get into the good stuff right now so i'm excited about that so let's jump into the auction anything there hypocrite it's won a few decent races but only one graded race so we're not going to go for that. Dangerous Minds. Oops, that's on the side. Dangerous Minds is a horse that, you know, I'm not too sure of at this stage. So we're trying out that, you know, at a graded distance, and it should be a fantastic horse. It should be another easy win. I tried to book a, an, an easy grade three win here if we can get another one. But um, there's something about this horse that doesn't make me ultra confident. And I should be because this is a beast of a horse. This has got all the bars you want. It's got everything there. This should be the distance again. So I'm second guessing myself unnecessarily, I feel. Desert Dynamo, good start. Not bad from the rest of the field. It looks like Mizbah is going to come through into the lead. Key event is up there. On the outside, Dangerous Mine is going to settle in just behind uh, the leaders here with the chasing pack. And then Classic Mike just behind on the inside with King of Swords, Dolphin Rock and Knights Nation at the rear of the field right now. So five and a half furlongs to go in this. Ms. Bar with a decent little lead now. Stretching the front a little bit. There goes Key Event trying to push the pace. Decides to settle back in and taking another look here at the lead. Desert Dynamo 
happy just to sit back a little dangerous minds coming up the inside a little here needs to make sure he doesn't get caught behind some of this traffic but the whole field here is pretty much in contention apart from knight's nation so three furlongs and here comes dangerous minds now round the outside of second place up in towards the leader two and a half furlongs powering through here dolphin rock as well with a really strong push but not going to be able to get up into second place cleanly Mizbah holding it up a little bit so dolphin rock here now charging down the straight with dangerous mind does dolphin rock have what it takes key event up into third now trying to make a challenge here but dangerous mind just seems to be coasting nice and easy driving out at all times and maybe even key event stealing second place i'm not sure whether that was a close second and third battle but dangerous minds gets the win dolphin rock does pick up second for short head from key event and the worries about wild retriever were unfounded it's a good horse it's got me that little uh that little grade one win I'm, I'm really happy to see that that one's done so well and the worries about dangerous minds unfounded really happy to get a grade win on this one too so last season's troublesome two-year-old was wild retriever looked a really good horse didn't perform great and had to go into the field because i couldn't find races for it but coming along as a three-year-old dangerous mind this year's two-year-old that i had questions over and so far i'm quite happy with what they're doing but again it's it's mainly due to distance and not having those sort of quantity of races to be able to test right now we've only got on the side who has not got a graded win so we will be looking to change that in the next video get everybody up to speed hopefully by august to have everybody graded which would be absolutely fantastic uh, galloping gusto is also under a hundred everybody else is above so a little bit of work to do to get up to standard but as i say this is a really really nice crop of horses we've got three grade one winning horses one four-year-old two three-year-olds we've got a grade two on the other three-year-old and then we've got grade threes on all our two-year-olds bar on the side this is what we like to see into auction just in case there's a superstar quite randomly and would you look at that troubled waters grade one winner only one grade win a grade one it's got a grade two it's got four grade threes as well it's won just under half of its races yeah i don't think i'll be making a move if that was like if that was closer to 20 wins out of 30 then i'd be happier if it was 411 i'd be happier that rating was 130 plus i'd be happy I, i'd be willing to pay four times the price for the right horse i'd be willing to pay like five million but yeah trouble waters i don't think we need a horse like that compared with what we've got in our stables right now so let's continue the good form i believe we've won every race apart from that first one which is a little disappointing but i kind of thought we might struggle on distance there so belladonna the only horse to have won a little bit laid back we've got a couple of blow-ups in the field so again this should be as straightforward as it is everybody is picking us here at prairie meadows so let's get into this race then i believe the penultimate race and our first night race wow okay so we will see how this comes together and it's a decent start from everybody there supersonic and fucker uh, right up the front early but there goes rogue amour triplet and kashi miss with gorilla now in the mix then back down to fakir who's settled into that chasing pack belladonna a little bit back from most of the field 
but a decent distance over Fanny Freud and Anthenian's legacy. Three and a half furlongs, now Belladonna getting to the outside, looking to make a little bit of a move. Pass Fakur. Gorilla is next and Kashi missed, but we're going to get blocked off here on the inside. Should have stuck to the outside. Is there a way through up into third place past Supersonic? Rugamu. Up into second, past Triple Eight, one and a half furlongs. Kicking now for the line, pushing out and absolutely storming past that one furlong marker. Driving away from the field as fully expected. Belladonna will pick up the win here at Prairie Meadows by a few lengths, even with a little bit of a a blocked route at times. So, yeah, that, that was great. Almost five lengths there from Triplet. So Belladonna picks up grade three there. That is the third grade three. So very happy there. I do like putting the laid back horses in the graded races more than the other horses, just because I believe that they have a little bit of an advantage. So absolutely fantastic. Four wins from four for Belladonna, three a grade three wins. As we just discussed, I am really happy there. She would be my first choice probably for a group two or a group three race. Um, Blissful, Blissful Retriever is in a group two, but um, yeah, the next one up I think has to be testing Belladonna. You can see we've got grade three coming up and it's secret of mine. I'm hoping distance still right, distance is still right, Blissful Retriever. Distance is wrong. The distance is wrong. Ah, so. Yeah, good thing I checked that. Sometimes I don't check, and I really, really should. Um, so two-year-olds. Like Blissful Retriever, I like a lot, don't I? But she can't run in this, so... Is there anything else similar? Ugh. Is it going to be Green Peaches then, is it? No. You can't run there. Tridovic? Can? Maybe. So let's put Trader Vic then in the grade two race. We will be replacing, sadly, be replacing who we wanted. So yeah, not, not the best, but good thing I did check. And I think we're gonna, yeah, I think Secret of Mine is gonna be the last race, and then we're gonna book some races for August and go in the next video. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this will be the last um, the last race. The episode is getting up there. Secret of Mine, a little bit agitated. Oh, sweating badly and agitated. Don't like that. Still the favorite, still the best horse in the field. Still could win this race, but it is not a give me any more. I don't think it was a full gimme anyway, so a little bit late out of the blocks there. We will settle towards the rear of the field, as is her want usually, and then start moving up into position over time. So likely Bay Cherry, Mary Mittens, what's your excuse? Just behind us, we're almost level with Consecrate in fourth place. Imp Imperator Augustus is there now trying to make a move alongside and in between cashing in on a dream and five out of five as we approach three furlongs here comes Secret of Mine this horse really wants to run now not willing to wait at all you can see maybe that's the agitated you know trait coming through sweating up just really really wants to go but Imperator Augustus will make a move on the inside here to try and keep ahead. Secret of Mine might not have what it takes with that little blow up in the paddock. Bay Cherry though didn't make as much of a move as expected. 
is going to make a second push here though and secret of mine just pushing out just enough maybe and we'll lose it on the line to bay, tre uh, bay cherry excuse me there so sweating up badly did kind of hurt us in that race didn't hold back enough went too early and didn't have what it took to actually get into things so not very happy with that result really not happy with that result is it something to do with stamina no so it's just the fact that we sweated up badly and all that's two in a row so not the best there either not the best there either but that's where we're going to leave the races secret of mine comes in second to round off a day opened by peach pipe coming in fourth every horse in between though picking up wins and as i say one ungraded horse which we're hoping to solve in the next video so on the side needs a run out it's going to be difficult to try and find a race but if there is one we will be running on the side and apart from that galloping gusto needs a race of a mile just to try and get over a hundred rating so far though a fantastic season and it continues the traditions of this save i think this class of two-year-olds are absolutely phenomenal and could be you know great going into your three four and the breeding barn so we'll see what happens long term but at the moment i'm very happy so i, I hope you're enjoying this save we've had some good results today a couple of question marks answered a couple new question marks cropped up as always but um yeah guys if you have enjoyed please do smash that like button subscribe to the channel so you don't miss when a video is going live you know leave your comments in the section below ask your questions i'm happy to answer i'll get back to you uh, as soon as i can normally pretty soon from what you've seen already and also follow me on twitter at chris Army. if you do like management games sport management games then i do have a giveaway live at the moment that is for out of the park baseball 17. now very good game very in-depth if you know baseball then it's a great game to play and sort of experience the world through if you don't know much about baseball then i think it's a great game to learn about it because you know there are a lot of confusing terms sometimes i'm still getting into the sport uh but i do i do enjoy out the park baseball so we got a couple of copies of the developers out of the park developments and you know i've put up a third copy myself there might be another copy coming up and i'm just going to keep doing these giveaways guys if i can get the games from developers from fans if, if you want to donate copies of games to give away um you know i'm going to do reviews of games and give away copies with those reviews so if games come out new games come out and i'm able to grab a copy or two then expect giveaways expect more reviews i hope you're enjoying that kind of stuff have your say as always comment section below at chris army on twitter head over to twitter to find the rules for that giveaway and uh, keep up to date with any news from me but that's going to wrap things up thanks very much for watching this has been starters order six i've been chris army take care guys and I'll see you next time.